Hello guys and welcome to the Beyond Sana channel, my name is Shinx. In today we're gonna take a look into the Gondor faction in the Eden mod for BFME 2, The Rise of the Witch King. It's going to be a showcase and that's gonna be our first video for the Eden mod. Let me know in the comment section down below which faction you would like to see in the next video. We are going to be on the beautiful map Forts of Ice 2 in a one-on-one -on -one against a hard army. Let's get it started. And if you like BFME 1 and BFME 2, this is the mod guys which is combining both the games in one single mod. Look at this. The Gondor base is looking like in Battle for Middle Earth 1, but we are still in BFME 2 right now. Oh no, the shortcuts are, are different, so X for the blacksmith and Y for the townhouse. Townhouse is very similar to the farm I'm assuming. We need to also close the gate. Because we are against a hard army and they don't care about your walls, they will just gate rush you and it's gonna be a nightmare to deal with. Power point wise, uh, we are able to get the Gondorian's architecture. The master architects of Gondor repair all damaged buildings, it's repair. And we have also the Horn of Gondor. The sound of the Horn of Gondor awakens the courage of the troops of the White City. 25% attack, fear resistant for allied troops. Left click on icon and left click on the target. So let's pick up this one first. We don't need to repair early on. And I wanna get the chance to recruit every single possible hero. I don't know too much about Eden mode just yet. Uh, but I already like it a little bit because you have the chance to play BFME 1 by using the BFME 2. Features like the battle senses. I mean the battalion size is also different of course. I wanna, I wanna check out if we are gonna be able to keep this work lane at the bottom side. But that's a different version of the map Forts of Eisen. So we have more settlements as you can see and tell. And the settlement system is working exactly the same like in BFME 1. What is that? It's a Waldman of Dunland. I, mean, I need to use maybe the Horn of Guns, I don't know. So let's use this. And aggressive stance at the same time. And we also need to build some more blacksmiths inside the base. They will give us the steel bonus if I'm not mistaken. That's going to make our upgrades a bit cheaper. Just like in Battle for Middle Earth 1. And from this building over here. We are also able to recruit some of the Italian Rangers. But they cost 120 command points. That's quite a lot. And also 600 resources. But I like that. That's pretty nice actually. Okay. There is a war clear at the bottom side. I don't know the, vac I don't know the faction we are playing against. It's random, it doesn't show, because we are on the patch 2.01 for Rise of the Witch King. That's what you need if you want to play this mod for yourself. And before... Actually, let's recruit one of these. We have now enough money. Just go for it. What is that? Enables Battalion to buy. Okay, for 600, that's a lot of money. We need to, first of all, get a bit more eco, I believe. Let's get some more blacksmiths. Please destroy this rubble. Can we not destroy this rubble? I believe we need to kill all the white men first, right? Done landing extra overs. Yeah, we need to kill them all first before we can actually destroy this tent. But he's trying to dodge us. What a memer. Why are we running? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> okay, I mean, this is already looking quite interesting. I'm assuming... I don't know how many factions I didn't check yet, but I believe like around 7 factions are included in this mod. And we're gonna take a look into every single one of these. And you get the chance to decide which one is going to be next, boys. Now we can upgrade this one for the research, compite, composite, bow, bows. Uh, my English, by the way. Mother language, Kappa Kipo. Enables battali battalions to buy. Lowers and re the recharge time of unexpected salvo by 33% and doubles the damage. But I believe that's needed if you want to be able to recruit the Italian Rangers from the tent. We also have like one, two farms, three farms outside. Farms are giving us the food bonus, just like in Battle for Middle Earth 1. And this is going to make our horses a bit uh, cheaper. But before getting horses on the field, re let's recruit at least one ranger. It actually takes ages. We can build one more blacksmith. Ideally, you want to build always six blacksmiths. I'm always talking about BFME 1, and I don't know how much we can compare BFME 1 with the Eden mod just yet. And of course, taking a look into a faction we already know. But there are way more factions than Gondor. What is that? Is ring function Gondor. Only ring heroes can pick the one ring up. If Gandalf gets the ring, still being the grey, then he won't be able to resist the 
Tempestions of the Ring is Gandalf the White, he passes the test. Gandalf the Grey, Ring Function. He is corrupted by the One Ring and uses it for his own purposes, becoming Gandalf the Corrupted. Gandalf now deals planar damage, all damage and spell effect. Can hit friendly units? Oh my goodness. All units become frightened of him briefly when he is attacked. Gandalf can no longer ride Shadow of X. Gandalf the White, Ring Function. He passes the test of the ring and uses, uses it to help mankind. Becoming Gandalf the Challenge Master. Dude! Hero, uh, heroes and units around Gandalf have fear resistance, slowly self-heal and gain improved values. Gandalf abilities deal more damage and recharge faster. Ring function Boromir takes the one ring and tries to lead the White City back into the light. Boromir gains improved abilities and... That's so nice! That's so nice! Oh my goodness, that's so nice! What happened to our units, by the way? Why am why I'm not able to recruit the rangers? I don't get it. Something might be bugged. I also lost the units. I was not paying attention. So let's recruit a hero potentially. We have not many heroes, as you can see and tell. Gandalf is quite expensive, but we have the chance to recruit either Peregrine Took or also Denator. So let's go for the Denator. That's a well. Uh, we need the stable. What is the shortcut for the stable? I need to relearn all the shortcuts. B is for stable. Doesn't make any sense. Has to be S. S for stable. And also the well is S. Why? I don't get it. The farm here is going to be taken down. It looks like we are against a Mordor opponent. I'm assuming we are using the aggressive stance with the rangers. And I don't know why we are not... Oh... Ranger tent level, tent level 3. We need to build a post on gate here. Um, let's do this. So we can keep the gate closed and get in out, get in and out whenever we need. Hard army, I'm actually surprised that he's not attacking us just yet. Oh, it's, it takes some time to build, unlike in battle for middle of one. There comes the orc army. Okay. Stable is up on the field. That's going to give us the chance to recruit some of the mighty Gondor knights. Now you can get out, right, Senator? Please move. What is this actually? Swings down the camera with each click. Uh, I don't feel that though. I don't feel that. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, you can change the vision like that. Okay. Pretty nice. And also, uh, maybe let's take a look. What is that? Expanded storerooms. Increases command points by 200. You can expand the storerooms five times. So we can get in total 1000 more command points. On top of the 500 we already have. So in total we will have 1500. Increases the training speed by 20% and the hit points by 1500. So let's do this as well to make our units a bit tankier. And then we're gonna take a look into the abilities from Denetor. The sun, or not the sun, the daddy of Farami and Boromir. Range stands. And Denetor range of, uh, range of attack increases by 50% but his attack speed lowers by 30. Enemies inside are automatically attacked. Then we have also, those are really complicated names for his abilities. Are you trying, are you testing me boys? Denator looks into the Palantir and reveals a big part of the map for, for him for 30 seconds. Through his knowledge, he gains two levels. What? Oh my goodness. That's crazy. Men of Gondor. Men of Gondor. Okay, now we have the Gondor Knights on the field. There's a troll there, very interesting map design actually. Didn't expect this one. And I want to get to the point in which we can get Gandalf the White from the spellbook. I'm not sure how we can actually get... Um, see it. What is that formation? 50% armor against swords and arrows, but 50% speed. So you lose movement speed when you are using this very interesting battle formation from the Gundam Knights. But if you stand still and fight, it's pretty nice. Let's use Rallying Call, or it's called Horn of Gondor. It's gonna make us deal also more damage. Um, the rubble. problem is, or the thing is, that the fear resistance is kind of pointless in this kind of situations. For two minutes, Gondos Barracks train soldiers and pikemen for the half their price, but the trained units can't purchase any upgrades nor have any abilities. So very interesting hero design, I need, I need to say. Very, very interesting hero design. Are they not hitting level 2 by themselves? Are they not able to level up passively? Not sure. Doesn't look like it. So... Creep, nice. So you know what we're gonna do? We need to, what is that? We don't need that. So we can demolish this and build up a marketplace instead. Just to increase the money a little bit. 
And this way we can recruit our heroes also a bit faster. Okay, let's build this one for a change. We know the farms already. So we can always try all the different units or buildings this mod is offering us. And we can even expand this a little bit more. Intact Bastion. As long as the city isn't destroyed, buildings, wall, wall catapults in the bases, and the castle gain 50% armor against siege. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, okay. You win, you win, you win, you win, you win. It's the Gollum creature. It's the Gollum creature. That is Gollum. And why should your songs be Let's kill Gollum then. If he can, of course. I don't know how tanky he is. Riders. Together. What, are, what are those units though? I'm not sure. We are able to trample him down. It looks like Deneto is not even attacking himself. Like he is commanding some units to attack for him. We can also get the Night Shield. But I'm actually curious how we can get this Blacksmiths to level 2. Marketplace is up on the field. Grand Harvest means 30% more money from all the farms. Increased taxes. The discount of townhouses now also affects the regular infantry. Iron Ore. Enables the research of upgrades in the black... Oh, that's what you need. Okay, that's what you need in order to get your blacksmiths to the point in which you can buy your upgrades. Okay. I didn't know that. And econ economy upgrades, research, special up upgrades to improve your economy. Okay, let's also take a look into... The oh, never mind. Oh my, this... Actually, this is in insane. Like... Knights, heal up, please. Knights of Minas Tirith. Is he not able to heal up over time? I'm seriously really confused right now. There's so much stuff happening and I don't know what's going on. So we need to trample down. These are pikemen. So we need to avoid them. But it's happening around this area. What is this creep? What is... Oh, this is a building from Mordor. We are against Mordor, right? So let's trample them down. We need to be careful. Just record the need. And go for one more trample. They're also gaining this amount of power points, but is this going to be enough? We can also build a battle tower for the defense, I'm assuming. But our units are not able to heal up over time. Very confusing. I want to also take a look into Peregrine Took. And we can get even more levels. Passively, you see, whenever this is available, you can use it over and over again. Uh, tax Aboitment. All allied economical buildings in the target area instantly pay the income for the next 3 minutes, but are out of order for the next 4 minutes. What an interesting ability. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is nobody else but Peregrine Took. Peregrine Took has the chance to fight with the rock or with the sword, just like in BFME 1, but here he has also the Alvin Cloak. To, I mean, also very similar to BFME 1. Then we have also the Courtesy of the Fool, Pippin. Pippin's sight range increases by 100% for 20 seconds. Nearby invisible units will be revealed and he gains 20% speed. Then he has also... And all of that with level 1 only, by the way. Guardian of the Citadel. Pippin becomes a Guardian of the Citadel. He Im immediately reaches level 5 if below that level and gains an additional 1000 hit points and 30% armor. What an upgrade. And then last but not least, he needs to be level 10 for that. Dagger of the Noldor. Pippin uses his Dagger of the Noldor, a gift of Galadriel, to cunningly attack the enemies or his enemies, he will leap in a straight line towards the target of the enemy, dealing heavy damage to everybody he hits on the way and dealing double damage if he hits enemies from behind. Very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. We need this, I mean, these upgrades are re researching quite slow and also our units are not able to le level up or heal up. Unfortunately, we can also build maybe one more. What is that? Repairs, allied buildings, and machines nearby. So we don't need that. Let's go for a trample. We have also 900 command points. And what is that? A blinded attack order. For 30 seconds, allied units in the target area inflict 50% more damage but don't gain any experience in this time. And last but not least, once he's level 10, Captain of the Steward, Deneto now summons twice as many troops to the battlefield. Additionally, there is a chance of 33% to summon a Sir, sir, captain who remains on the battlefield for 30 seconds and grants nearby allied units 15% damage and armor. So really interesting, I need to say. But these buildings are also not gaining any levels. Hmm. Please defend. Are these pikemen though? I'm not sure what's going on here. What is that unit called? Orc pikemen, yeah. But they were not, they were not attacking us back, that's why they couldn't deal any damage. So we can get back once again. 
And once this is finished, we are finally able to buy upgrades on the blacksmiths. It's all about to be all about time. Finally, finally, finally. So buy banner, buy every upgrade pretty much, just why nice. not? We are not able to replace the dead man's per battalion. Heals nearby allies, but I don't know how this is actually working. For a limited time, allied units need a wall. Oh, you need to activate it. Okay, I mean, really very intense or insane mods. I mean, nothing like all the mods I was able to see so far that's something different this is really something different i mean that's like well taught you know a lot of work has been put into that so it's not basic at all it's quite complicated we see also mouth of sauron on the field like i'm camping right now because i'm just reading everything what is needed but is that workers tools upgrades all economical buildings in the castles camps and at the outpost rank 2 at rank 2 economy buildings produce 25 percent more resources say no more <laughs> And then you need this, but you need to get this one first. I'm assuming this is going to get everything to level 3. And this is going to give us the chance to recruit some ranges, for example, from this tent at the bottom left side. Towers are dealing decent amount of damage over time. Rally together, so it's on cooldown. Can we right click on it? Nope. Right click is not possible. So let's give them banners. Okay. So I think we need to fight this, right? Increases armor against swordsmen by 25 and against arrows by 50, so it's a very significant. Are they able to attack the gates? Nope, they are not able to attack the gates, so we are in a good spot. Let's use rallying call. Let's use hold ground stands and battle formation to be as tanky as we possibly can. And just fight here. In the worst case, we can always peel back. But we need more armor. Heavy armor is going to be very... I mean, the upgrades are being purchased extremely slow. Ogondo, do we have heal from this spellbook? What is that? Formations of Gondo. Troops of Gondo gain 20% damage and armor when they toggle to their spe spe specialist formation. Bonus is halved for elite units. Very interesting mod. Very, very. Looks like we will be losing this farm, unfortunately. But it is how it is, I guess. Just peel back. And get this one now, once this is finished. Very important. Switch to the normal formation to make them run a bit faster. They lose so much movement speed, holy moly. We see also Govmok with a different image in this mod. And once this is finished, we can also get this one. That's gonna get all these build, all these um, structures to level 3, which also means 20% more resources and 1000 additional hit points. Then we have the Settlers. Tools upgrades all economical buildings on the settlements to rank 2 and increases their build cost by 100. At rank 2, economy buildings produce 25% more resources. And actually, you can stack that with each other. That's kind of insane if you can. Of course. You know what? We can demolish this. We can use this one more time to get him to level 7. Look, he is having his fighters to fight for him. Oh, there comes the troll. Very green took Throw rocks or something. I don't know. That's got to count for something. Okay, let's open the gate, I guess. Press on. We will build some more towers. But they take some time until they are fully built up. Unlike in normal BFME 1, in which they build up instantly. Now we have the chance to kill the leader of the orcs, ladies and gentlemen. With Peregrine Tuk. Ay, you miserable creature. Okay, now we can engage. Catapults already, nice, nice. That's the challenge. I mean, playing against AI in this mod is a bit harder and tougher than playing against a mo against AI in Battle for Middle Earth 1, I guess. And that's not even the hardest difficulty, you can always choose Brutal. But I wanted to take some time to explain or even to actually read for myself what is going on. And I still can't tell you exactly what is going on. Like, there, there is so much detail in this mod which makes it kind of insane. Let's get the Lone Tower summon. What is that? We have rebuilt now and left click. We can summon it right here, maybe. We will be able to defend ourselves. Are we still not able to get those units on the field? I cannot believe that. I mean, it's only level 1. I don't get why. It's gonna be level 3 now, I thought, but I believe it's only working for the buildings inside the base. That's what it is. It's that okay, we have also upgrades now. That's gonna make our Gondonites a bit tankier. 
What is this unit? Knights of Minas Morgul. So I believe those are special units from Minas Morgul. We need to close the gates, I guess. <laughs> what else can we do against such a reckless seat? Maybe our hero can make something happen. Where? Where is the ring? Okay, I want to get the ring, guys. Hold on a second. I mean, he's... They are talking about Boromir. Boromir, but I don't even have Boromir here, right? I can only get Gandalf. I mean, the problem with Gollum is he's getting invisible all the time. This is level 2 yet? It's... Re I mean, it's actually upgrading quite slowly. So you need to bring a lot of time. What is that? Trolls are here. One of Gondor is available, but uh, trolls are unmatched. We can't fight them. Can we take it down in f fast enough? I don't know about that. Um, I want to get Gandalf. Or oh, oh, be careful. Avoid fighting pikemen. Avoid fighting pikemen. Just peel back. Just peel back. Just peel back. You won. You won. You won. The farm here is going to be taken down. The upgrade is almost finished, I'm assuming. Yeah, really close. And then we can also go for the last upgrade. We need to try to deal economical damage. What is this kind of building? Slave, slave heart. Slave farm. Slave farm. Look at this. Do you see this design? Hey, this is not for slaves, man. We are anti-slave. Trust me on that one. I want to see also the mortal base. I'm assuming it looks pretty much the same like in Battle for Middle Earth 1. But with improved uh, graphic on the buildings. Beautiful. We killed the catapults. But he has more than that. Together knights, come. Hey, my friend, you also want to do something maybe about the situation? Get level 9. Nice. Level 10 now. Okay. We got level 10 without fighting. That's very interesting. So every time this was available, uh, we were just using it, getting like 2 to 3 levels for free. You see, like, he is commanding. Like, he's not fighting. He's doing absolutely nothing himself. Okay, now we can go for the final one. That's gonna be this. And this is level 2 finally. Okay, that's the time for us to shine with level 3. I see you. Let's destroy this and peel back. So the, tow the towers are gonna be in able to handle this troll. So let's peel back. Uh, we can also build a post and gate behind. And Gandalf is gonna be on the field very soon. Um, very soon. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, hey, hey. I thought I I told you guys to go back. Why don't you listen to me? Open the gates. This guy is like crazy, you know? He's just like commanding everybody. Looks like we have no upgrades, unlike um We have no upgrades. That's what it is. What is that? Visa blast. Okay. Say no more. Gandalf, it's your time to shine. Let's go, Gandalf. I want to see Gandalf. And you already know what's, what's going to be on the menu for this one. We want to see Gandalf level 10 in this mod, guys. But I believe it's going to take us some time. We need to get him to level... Uh, we need to get to Gandalf to fight first. And for that, we need 5 more power points or 2 and a half more power points. Assistance in times of need. And with 10, we are able to either summon the army of the dead. Also, the Rohan answers. Rohan stands by the... Rohan stands by the people of Gondor in their greatest need, summons a rallying banner where the army of Rohan will appear. The more time Rohan has to prepare, the more troops and heroes will come. That's crazy. I like that. I really do like that. Gandalf is just face thinking everybody like a boss because he can. And we can now demolish one of the buildings. And also take a look maybe into the stone worker, you know, that's also possible. And that costs you 1000, right? So we have also the siege works, the stable, the archery range, the barracks. So pretty much the same buildings like in battle for middle of one. This has a huge cooldown. Now we can use it finally. Back to the darkness. Almost level 2. I believe that's gonna unlock the lightning sword, yeah. Look at the drama troll is running us down. Oh, he has catapults. That's not cool. That's not cool, my dude. Why is he red like that? Is Was he eating like a bad tomato or something? And also, something is actually turning our units into uh, like rage mod or something. I don't know what's going on. 
The farm here is going to be taken down. And we are finally able... Look at that. We are finally able to recruit some of the... Um, Rangers from the tent. Also get this farm back. The Stormworker is up on the field. That's going to give us the chains. Reinforced Fortress Garrison. Doubles the number. Uh, let's get all. Numenorean Stormwork. Reinforced Gates. I mean, all the shenanigans we already know in BFME 1. Here we are able to buy either Outpost or Border Stronghold. Trains the units and heroes of Dolamrov. That's unique, so we gotta do this one first, of course. But we have not the money just yet, so we can keep fighting for the map control. We also need to get our power points unlocked as soon as we possibly can to turn our Gandalf into Gandalf Divide, ladies and gentlemen. Let's use one of Gondor once again. Ignore the arches, we have so many upgrades. They can't hurt us. Gandalf, it's your time to shine, my dudes. They are shooting with, like, red arrows. Boo, yeah. And then we have lightning swords now. Let's use it right after. There we go. We can now use this one tower summon and potentially place our rangers into that. Yeah, that's possible. That's nice. Level 3. Hey, Gothmog. Gothmog is trying to kill our dude. Don't I? Do we have heal? No, we don't have heal. Hey, Gun hey, Gondonites, you need to come. I believe Gandalf is extremely slow. Do we have shield bubble? No, we can't use shield bubble. Unlike we could in BFME uh, to the rise of the Witch King, the patch 2.02. That's not possible in here. So let's use hold ground stance. Turn. He's activating the shield bubble from time to time. There is another hero. Oh, this hero. You remember him, guys? Oh, that's nice, right? Gandalf is in a safe spot, I believe. He's poisoned. Kill up Gandalf a bit faster. Come on now. We, also, we have five power points collected. You know what time it is, guys. It is time to turn Gandalf into Gandalf the White. But he needs to be level five to get mounted on his Shadow Fax. And Shadow Fax means uh, nothing. <laughs> I mean, he's gonna be just mounted. That's what it is. Easter Life with level seven and War of Power with level 10. So pretty normal, like the normal Gandalf we know and love in BFME 1. The gates are reinforced. Where is Gollum? I want to see Gollum. We have no other heroes. I mean, he was talking about Boromir, but I don't know where Boromir is. Okay, we can now capture this one. Oh, the trolls are coming. Gandalf is healing extremely slow. I mean, what's going on? Oh, 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 Gandalf, Gandalf, Gandalf. We need you, we need you, we need you. I want to see Gandalf damage against those knights. Golem creature? We need to kill... We need to kill this Gollum before he escapes us. Because I want to pick up the ring. You already know what I want, right? Yeah, you also you also support this. I believe it's hard to kill him, right? No, it's not hard to kill him. So pick up the ring, my dudes. Pick up the ring, Gandalf. I always was wondering what would happen if Gandalf would be the one who gets the one ring. And this is gonna be the answer. I mean, of course, we won't exactly know what's gonna happen or what would happen in the films or in the books, but in the game we at least will know. And Gandalf has now the one ring. Gandalf the challenge master. Melee damage, 485. I mean, he has, the, he has the ring on top of his head now. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's demolish the stable. And uh, recruit maybe some more rangers. And also I want to build the archer range. To see what's, what is, you know, in there. How many units we are able to recruit. And Gandalf has to be level 5, unfortunately, before we can get mounted. Before we can get mounted with the, with the wizard. You so you need to go here. We lost this outpost, but it's okay. As a king. Gandalf, we can, I mean, do we have heal from the spellbook or something? No, we have no heal from the spellbook, guys. Very interesting design of the spellbook, too. Okay, so Gandalf will get the chance to go for a juicy Zaplas right there. This also takes some time to build. Actually, quite a long time. Gandalf is here. Nice. Let's see Gandalf now. If anything is gonna change visually. 
Everything is looking pretty much the same. Let's build this one. We need to fight next to Gandalf because this way he can get experience. Oh, he's also able to attack finally. He's making a move. Oh, okay. That's very interesting. You can recruit heroes. Gandalf, do your thing. Almost level 5. Come on, Gandalf. You can get level 5. I trust you. Get all the upgrades, too. Gandalf is level 5, guys. Okay, it's time for the White Wizard to shine. We are able to recruit Faramir from the Archer range, and that means potentially that Boromir can be recruited from the barracks. That's what it is. Just scout the area. And look how fast it's recharging when you have this Challenge Master. What would happen if, if Boromir would get the ring, though? Okay, current... Boromir gets improved abilities and immediately reaches level 10. Current and newly trained units all get forged blades and heavy armor. When Boromir dies, the player cannot build anything for, 30, for 60 seconds. Uh, while Boromir has the one ring, his stats will get worse and worse as he corrupts them and he will eventually die. Oh, that's very interesting. If the ring hero dies, he loses the ring at the place of death. Okay, let's... Does he have leadership too? Doesn't look like that. You can learn all the we finally destroyed this one. That's great. Let's build the farm and keep moving on. Farami is also on the fields now. What is that? Uh, Prince of Italian. Even in times of his great hardship, Farami fills the hearts of his brothers at arms with courage. All nearby friendly units gain fear resistant. Infantry gain 20% armor and cavalry gains 30% armor. And look at this. We have not only Boromi, but also we have Beragons. Go and help the Gondor Knights, my friends. I taught you to Visaplas, Gandalf. Oh my god, it was the worst Visaplas ever. <laughs> Lol. Okay, we have six power points collected. Uh, you know what I want, right? I want to get this as soon as possible. So we need to keep fighting here until we get the power points we need. Why are you screaming that much? I don't get it. Boromir is here now. The last then Boromir will continue to fight for 15 seconds. When his death, Bar is deplanted. Boromir deals 50% damage and can't be knocked back for his time. Ability will be activated when, he, when the health bar is depleted. Okay, so when he's low health, he's gonna automatically go for his plus. That'd be good, nice. Kill this catapult, please. Let's build a farm. Why are you screaming then, Eto? Why are you so mad, bro? And we have also different heroes from this one. I mean, that's very interesting. Gandalf level 7. Nice. We will get the chance now to see the power of the Easter Light. Let's test it out against the troll. Gandalf the Challenge Master. I want to see that. Doesn't even one-shot him. That was disappointing, dude. <laughs> that was really disappointing now. Let's get all the heroes. Boromir uh, has also the Horn of Gondor to stun the enemy units. The Air of Gondor, Boromir buckles on heavy armor. Troops nearby Boromir are proud to fight with their captain of the White Tower and gain 30% armor. Brave resistance, Boromir uses his massive round shield and defeats all enemies. Boromir temporarily gains 75% armor and is immune to knockback. And last but not least, for Gondor veterans, Boromir summons three veterans of completely upgraded infantry veterans on the battlefield for a short time, who have, Boromir, who have fought in many battles at Boromir's side. We have also the Beragons and also Imrahil. You can also get all the upgrades here, just why not? Ah, okay. But why can I not recruit them? Let me check. You can only have a maximum of three battalions of Dalam Rosvan. Um, Imrahil has been recruited. Imrahil has been recruited, yeah. Victory will be ours. Does he get mounted? Or, I mean, do we need to get him mounted? Hey, don't use it. Use it here on these units. 
Okay, we have almost the power points we need. Like, we need only two and a half more power points. Just go inside the jeans. They are so strong now with Gandalf around. They can do whatever they want. They won't die. We also are able to save this. Just to show you guys, it's like a rebuild now to save this, you know? Nice. Rally together, knights. We can also give them all the upgrades they need. The Dolamroth soldiers. You need sport. They have also leadership. Inspiration. Nearby friendly infantry that received 25% attack damage. Doesn't apply to other soldiers of Dolamroth. So you can also go inside the jeans now. And then we can maybe use the lightning sword on top of the fortress. Just to see how much damage it will be dealing, you know what I'm saying? Not much. Because the damage is split between this many targets, you know? He was killing, he was trying to kill the catapults too. I'm just trying to get as many power points as possible. Unfortunately, we have no heal in the spellbook of Gondor. But I, you know, I want to also take a look into... I don't know if Aragorn is able to get the one ring collected too, you know? But for now, we have to peel back a little bit. Look this. Okay, now our swordman can fight. With the other heroes side by side. Guardians of the third company. Beragon calls for a few of his brothers in arms. So, say no more. I got you. Here I go on, summon. They're attacking the farms. How can I summon that? I can't summon that. To and also, our hero boss. is getting knocked back. What is that? Prince of Dolamroth. He's a skilled general who is able to adjust his strategy to any point of the battle. Changes of to leadership Palantir. But Imrahil can... Okay, I mean... We just did it anyway, I guess. Gandalf the Challenge Master. It's such a great name. Very unique name. You wanna fight, troll? You wanna fight against the captain of Gonzo? I don't think. I, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. He's, he doesn't he doesn't know. He doesn't know. He doesn't know what awaits him. Oh, Boromir isn't able to knock him back. My place is here with my people. Okay, just run. And now is the time for you to use it. Let's see now. You see? He's now using his ability. Where is... Get inside, Boromir. Get inside the jeans. Nice. Gandalf is gonna save you. Boromir, Gandalf is going to save you. Oh, no, never mind. Bor Gandalf is not gonna be able to save you. <laughs> not this day. You wanna fight? You wanna play a rough, Mr. Troll? Let's keep moving on also from the top side. Okay, nice. What does this upgrade do? Not much, actually. So we are almost at 10 power points, guys, which is amazing. Just move also from the bottom side. With the other army. Just trying to get to the point in which we can... Hold on a second. I want to kill one of the catapults. They are really annoying. How are these buildings looking like? That's so nice. Gandalf, I told you to... Attack. Go and destroy. Let's see. Please one-shot that at least. Okay, that's nice. Come on, get 10 power points already. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, I was just hitting it. But the longer you wait... Yeah, the, the sun rises! Oh, we were just hitting it quite fast, you know? I believe in those kind of situations, when you need an instant army, then the army after that is a better choice. I was just hitting it immediately. It's unfortunately a bad move from me, but it is so it is. Just deal as much damage as you possibly can. Boromir has returned. The captain of Gondor is back on its mission to protect the White City. If all the upgrades we need. I mean, we can't get any stronger, really. We could get some more ranges on the field, I'm assuming, but that's pretty much it. Talking about, what is that? Can I not have fire arrow? Uh, research. Wait a second. Kill this outpost already, dude. Why take so much time? I don't get it. You move there and then there for it, then there next. In the hands of a witless halfling. This uh, Dianeto is really angry. Like, he doesn't know what he's saying. He's extremely mad, boys. 
fools. Okay. Power points are rising. The buildings are kind of tough from Mordor. Look how long it takes for us to destroy them before upgraded level 5 Gondonites around, you know? Oh, someone is... Or was trying also to destroy our... That's not like an outpost in BFME 1. That's really different. Okay, 10. Oh my goodness, let's go. B. Don't tell, tell, tell me that this is not OP, guys. Gandalf the Challenge Master. Let's see the damage against the tower. We will see about that. Oh, it's able to one-shot. That's pretty nice. Level 2. I don't know what's going on. I believe one single game isn't enough to actually only see the Gondor faction. And I will show you guys after this game there are way more factions than only Gondor. So we're gonna have a lot of fun in the following days in this mod. Trust me on that one. Let me know in the comment section down below what do you think about this mod. And which faction would you like to see the most in the following video. Uh, after of course I need to show you first of all the existing factions in the Eden mod. And I made also a video about we that if you want to download this for yourself. Are we are the victorious guys. Gandalf the Challenge Master. If you want to play this mod for yourself, you can just download, uh, you know, download that. Look, look at these animations, you know what I'm saying? Pretty nice. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 40 minute game though, it took some time until we actually covered everything, everything. we couldn't even do that. So we have Rohan, Lothlorien, uh, Ladris, Dwarves, Isengard, Mordor and Engma. So we have in total 3, 6, 8 factions and there was only 1 out of 8. And once again, you choose which faction is the next one. I will see you guys tomorrow, until then, take care of yourselves and as always, keep hitting like a track and stay beyond standards. Peace out!